Hi Chase, hello, welcome back to my channel. What's good? What's hip hop happening? I always get distracted because it's something on the window. Anyway, um, this is going to be a kind of more serious topic type of video. Um, I don't know if y'all can hear that. I'm sorry. Anyway, it's gonna be a little bit more serious than my other videos. Um, I've seen a lot of these types of videos around on YouTube, obviously, and what really bothers me the most about it isn't the fact that, you know, they're talking about what's going on in their life, but the fact, the, the comments that you see under the videos, whether they're bashing them, calling them lies, telling them they're making it up, telling them they're just doing it to get more views, like, granted, I don't know. If what they're saying is true or not but who wants to be depressed who wants to have anxiety like who wants to even fake it i know there's some people out there but i feel like to just immediately assume that someone is trying to fake an illness just to get more views or likes comments subscribers it's ridiculous that being said i was really reluctant to make this video just because I didn't want to put myself out there. I didn't want people to think that that's what I was doing because I really just want to share my life and my, the way I, not like, I guess got over it, I guess conquered over it in a way. So that's what I'm going to talk about today. Depression and anxiety, to me, is like, I don't know how to explain it. It's, um, it's something you cannot just throw over your shoulder and say, oh, I'll just ignore it. It doesn't go away like that. It doesn't just evaporate into thin air. It doesn't just walk out your house and never come back again. It sticks with you as long as you want it to. For me, it was that, I don't even know when it started. I feel like it really hit me last year when we were, I and my mother were going through a lot at the time. And it just felt like the weight of the world plus all the freaking planets plus the heavens was on your shoulders. Like it was on my shoulders. It felt like a dark black, pitch black cloud was covering my whole entire life and I had no way to see out of it. Like I had no light at the end of the tunnel. There was nothing there. It sunk so bad that I got used to it. I got used to feeling sad. I got used to being upset all the time, being irritated, being just in a sick, disgusting mood that I don't want to go anywhere. I want to be in bed all day. I don't want to eat. I didn't even want to eat, and that's really unlike me. I love eating. So it was so bad that I didn't want to associate, even with my mom, I don't want to talk to anyone because it just felt like I was alone in a world full of people. I just felt like I was just sunk, like just sunk to the down to the pits of the pits going through that I already had anxiety I already knew I did because when growing up I would constantly constantly get panic attacks for no reason just mere thinking of life and I don't know what I was thinking about at that age I really don't understand what I was going through although I was going through a lot but I didn't realize how much of an impact it took on me mentally. So you, when you have those panic attacks, it feels like there's someone sitting on your chest. You can't breathe. Your thoughts are like going from zero to a hundred. Your heart rate's at zero to a hundred. Everything is from zero to a hundred real quick. And you, there's nothing you can do about it until it just goes away, until you just are able to calm yourself down. At that age, I didn't know what to do. Like, I was freaking out. I was scared. I would say, hey, I can't breathe. Like, I was like, ma, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I don't know what's going on. Like, I felt like I could not breathe. Like, I felt like I was going to die. And that's, like, the most scariest thing I've ever went through in my whole entire life. 
as I got older, it got better. It stopped, but last year, when things were bad, it hit so hard that we were driving somewhere, and I was trying my best to calm myself down because I could feel it when it come. But for me, it feels like my the first symptom is when it feels like my chest is tight. It feels like it's just like I can't, I can't like get a gasp of air. I can't breathe in correctly. So I knew it was coming. And then when I started overthinking it, I'm trying to like settle down, calm myself down, but my mind won't stop. My mind is just going, it's going, it's going. So it happened. I we were in the car, anything we could do. And like so I decided to calm myself down, bring myself back to the back to earth, you know. When you have when depression kicks in and then anxiety has always always been there it's just it, it feels like you just want to go i hope you understand i don't want to say it because it's it's like the last resort type thing it just feels like you just want to leave like there's no point of being here anymore i don't want to be here anymore it's it, it it's it sucks it's the most crazy feeling ever that i would never wish on my worst enemy you really just don't want to be here anymore you really just don't want to live anymore it... um the way i was able to not cope with it but to um what's it called what's that word to um surpass it no I kind of suppress, to suppress it, was, um, I, me being spiritual, I pray a lot. I feel like praying was the way out for everything. So I would pray. I would pray even when I was deep, deep in my sadness, just crying all the time, every day, all day, just tears for no reason. It, it got so bad that you want, that you want to be sad because you don't want to be happy because you don't know how long it's going to last, you know? You don't know how long... It's gonna be until someone some something else comes up and just ruins everything for you. So you don't wanna be happy. You don't want to feel that joy anymore. You don't you're not you're not for it. So I made myself be happy. I made myself pray. I made myself have a positive mindset. I made myself get over the feelings that weren't even there. Like you're just I was just sad for no reason. Yeah, I was going through stuff, but it wasn't as bad as I made it in my head to be. You know, there's always a way out for everything and anything. But in my head, there was no way out. It was the end of the road. There was nothing I could do. There was just done. But it wasn't like that. It's not like that. It got better. It's a dog barking. Okay. Anyway, um, <laughs> that's what this video is going to be about. The fact that you know, daily, women and men go through this issue, go through this illness, so they say, every day, thinking that there's no way out, thinking that it's the, it's the end of the road, it really, really isn't. When people say it's in your head, it is literally in your head. You have the power to decide if you want to be happy or not. Yet a situation might be totally out of your hands, might be totally like just like bad and terrible and just it, you can't handle it there is always a way out for everything you notice that when you go through something in life you're never that emotion for the rest of your life you're never frustrated 24 7 when something doesn't go your way when something bad happens to you things change every second every minute every hour every day so we have the authority to control how we feel about it it took me a while to understand that. It took me a while to know that I can control my emotions. I can control the outcome of a situation just by thinking differently. And you can. You seriously can. It's it's something I never thought I'd go through. It's something that I never even thought about. I heard about. I used to be like, oh, I'm not depressed. I'm the happiest person in the world. But I know I wasn't, but I know I wasn't to that level of sadness but last year everything just went 
I just so at that time I knew that I needed to either get help or get a hold of myself because you don't always yeah you you should always have someone you need to talk to or someone to talk to you yeah you should always have someone that you should share your voice with and your thoughts with and just vent to but sometimes the power is seriously just in your hands and you just need to get a hold of yourself and realize who you are and realize that a mere emotion cannot take over you and will not take over you like I said prior, I'm spiritual, so I pray. Praying helps me cope with depression and anxiety and stress and all types of life issues. It helps me simmer down and come back to reality. Whatever helps you calm down, whatever helps you just recharge, do it. Do it and keep doing it until you don't have to worry about what's happening in the future, what's happening now, what happened in the past. Make yourself calm down. Make yourself come back to reality. It's in your hands. You have the power over your life. No one else does, except for God. And he wants you to be happy, not depressed, not have anxiety. He doesn't want any of that for you. So that, this was my little video on just a snippet of what I went through. I didn't want to go deep because it's still the internet and a social platform platform so i wanted to keep a little bit you know on the deal but that's i just wanted to share with you guys what i went through and how i cope with it and how i basically survived because a lot of people have left this world because of depression and anxiety but i can call myself a survivor because i did not allow it to take my life before my time so I hope you guys got something from this video. I hope it was a little helpful. If you liked it, please stay tuned for more videos by subscribing. Thank you and have a blessed rest of the week.